they're finally starting to get a life of their own. Um, this one keeps doing something funky where it's coming up to the front and it's trying to take a friend with it. Uh, I don't know what that's about. Hi guys, Erica Hassan here. Thanks for checking out another episode of Live Rich Mommy on Kerrika TV. And today we're back with another hair video because guess what? It's two months into my log journey. So we're officially two months in. And um, I've got to tell you guys, I have learned a lot. So I'm gonna share those things with you as I give you my hair show. Or show off my hair. It is starting to look a little... Uh, <laughs> It is starting to look a little frizzier, which I love. Um, and I also think it's definitely starting to grow, though you can't really tell as much because it's all up in the roots. You can't really see it, but it's there. I feel it when it hangs on the back of my neck. But I love it. I just finished moisturizing my hair, so uh, I was thinking that I should probably give you guys a video on how I do that based on what I've learned through my research as I've been going through this process. Um, so I'm going to definitely include that at some point later on. So if you haven't yet, please make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Aria, go to bed. Take your nap. <laughs> Take your nap. Um, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, that you subscribe for our newsletter as well so that you can be informed once that video drops. Yay. Okay, I think that's it. I'm gonna hop into the topic for today's video. There are three main things that I have learned so far during this lock process that I wasn't expecting, but I'm really grateful for. One of which is that there is a lot of pride in the lock community. Um, and with that, there is a lot to learn. One of which is language and terminology, especially when it comes to things like marrying, which is the joining of the hairs together, because that's a thing. Popping your locks, which is separate those hairs this child will not let me think and speak with you guys <laughs> the types of lock forms like freeform locks semi freeform um, I forget what it's called when you groom your locks but like all of these things have names there is a lot to know and learn before you even start out um, and I had taken one day before starting my locking process to research everything that I thought I needed to know but <laughs> That was literally just the tip of the iceberg. I found an amazing resource in Yanni, the lockologist. I talked about her in one of my last videos and she gives a lot of really great information as to how to care for your locks. But the base of it really is that less is more. <laughs> less oils, less water, less washing, less product, less fidgeting with your hair, fiddling with your hair. like. Less in general is more. Um, once you begin to recognize this and really roll with it, you really start to notice that your hair is living its best life and it also lives its best life without causing you stress, which is amazing if you allow it. Ooh. The second thing I've learned so far during my locking process is that um, locks require maintenance. <laughs> like you would think that you really have to do absolutely nothing to your hair, but I feel like that's essentially true only if you are doing freeform locks. If you are not doing freeform locks, you have to separate your parts um, because your hair becomes something like a jungle. <laughs> your strands basically marry into another lock. It's crazy. Um, when I first realized that this was happening, I was probably three or four weeks into my lock journey. And when they said, don't do anything to your hair, I was like, oh great. I literally just have to moisturize or wet it every once in a while. Um, I didn't separate them after I washed them the first time. And if you guys saw that last video, you already know that was a mess. Um, so about two weeks after that, I realized that there was a chunk of my hair back here that was like basically a patch of mess. Like I was trying to run my hands through it and I realized that I couldn't. And at that point I started to get really worried because I was like, what is this? <laughs> Apparently it's normal, but if you do not want free form locks, you definitely have to make sure that you keep that in check. So you do have to separate it and it's called popping your locks, but it's really simple. You just oil your hair um, and wet it a little bit. It's best to do it on the days when you are moisturizing your hair and then you just gently tease the hairs out. You can literally just like slide the hairs out and you'd be surprised to learn that there are like whole strands of hair tucked up into the other hair. I have no idea how it happens. It's like really um, 
mysterious to me. It's another thing that I learned is that I don't have to wash my hair as often, which has been amazing. No wash days for me. Also, stay tuned because I am doing a little video from my moisturizing routine today because I oiled my hair up for you guys. You know, I couldn't have come on here and talking to you about my two month journey with my hair looking all crusty and dusty. So I put a little oil in it. I sprayed it with a little rose water and love. And um, here you have it. I've also learned the importance of taking care of myself and drinking lots of water. This little guy is actually a big guy, <laughs> 32 ounces of water. Um, and I go through at least two or three of these every day. The third and final thing that I have learned since starting my lock journey is that um, locks are more than hair. <laughs> I mean, so often, you know, you think I am not my hair. I am not the skin. I am. Well, share the ball with your brother. He had it first. He wants to play. For some people, it's a spiritual journey. Um, but one thing that I've learned for me is that it has been a journey of self. You gain a perspective of self-awareness and how you interact with the world, how you interact with um, yourself as an individual, um, how you care for yourself, how you love yourself. And for me, it's been really interesting the fact that each lock journey is different. So you can't really like look at somebody else's journey and be like, oh, I want mine to look like theirs. My locks aren't gonna look like anybody else's, nor do I want them to look like anybody else's. And by way of this, the revelations that I'm gaining are not gonna be those that somebody else has gained through their journey. So I'm really just grateful for that. I've learned a lot of patience, recognize that not everything requires like a rush or, um, the get it done now type attitude, you know? Sometimes it's just nice to take your time and just separate your locks, you know? I don't know, it's become kind of therapeutic for me. Your hair is a reflection of your health. What we do in terms of taking care of the insides of our body reflects on the outside. <sighs> All right, so this is a really long video as most of them have been recently. I don't know why I keep doing these two on one. But as I am ending this, I would love to toss it back to you guys. What has your hair taught you about yourself? Leave those in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. You know what's up, what's up. Um, and subscribe to the channel if you like it, please. You can follow us online everywhere at Libridge Mommy, Facebook, Instagram, and the blog. <laughs> and until the next time, I hope you guys have an amazing week so far. Live rich and happy dream chasing. Bye. If you like this video, hit the little circle with my face in it to subscribe to the channel. Thank you.